we're, we're a plastic modeler society. We make things from kits or scratch building. We have meetings once a month. We're an all Ireland club. We have branches in Shannon and Dublin. And uh, we do all sorts military, civilian, science fiction. Fantastic. I was going to say science fiction is what you're, uh, what you're dedicated to today because we're at uh, Comic Con. Yeah. So science fiction is what we brought along this weekend. Yeah. Fantastic. But you do you do a lot of a lot more of that. Yeah. Something. And I see you've got an event on in September. Uh, do you want to maybe have a wee word about that? We do yeah. So the event is on in September, and it's on in the Spa Hotel in Lucan. So for the whole weekend, um, there's an open competition for any modelers who want to come along. And uh, yeah. Fantastic, yeah, fantastic. And uh, what, what, uh, what kind of things do you expect them to bring with them to the, to the event? Oh, I don't know. People have been building like mad for the last two years, you know, fantastic. during the pandemic. So, oh, okay, so yeah, the first so we're time you'll see. like a bumper year. Fantastic. Uh, some some life size DeLoreans or something. Yeah. Or? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, hello, uh, so you're at Dublin Comic Convention, uh, and what is your next event today? Hi, we're TOG, we're a hackerspace in Dublin 12, so a hacker or a makerspace is a community space where people can work on projects um, and we have all sorts of great tools, 3D printers, laser cutters and CNC machines uh, where people can work on big projects like here, this cosplay stuff or small coding or craft projects. We also have brewing, so it's like a gym for hobbies. Fantastic, yeah. Um, I, saw, I saw a hack today. Is this the kind of thing you do? Uh, somebody made a, a G4 Mac with a M1 chip. Is that is like electronic hacking? That's yeah, thing? all sorts of electronics and, and other nifty solutions. So people tend to um, collaborate and um, tap into the, the mind of the community if they want to try something or fix something or make something. Uh, that's what's great about our community is there's always someone who has an idea of how it could be. Work, so. and, and it's very good for uh, this to be very positive for the environment with reducing and reusing uh, you know components and everything yes yeah. this is all computer parts that would have gone on a skip and uh, we're also going to be running a repair cafe soon we're tog.ie so there'll be information yeah. up there so that means people can bring broken electronics or uh, handbags or anything that they have at home and we'll have a go or advise them on how to get it fixed so it doesn't get thrown away Fantastic, that's brilliant. So tog.ie is where people can find Tog. it? Tog.ie. Fantastic, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, so we're here at uh, Dublin Comic Con. Do you just want to introduce yourself and your business? Hi, my name is Espresso Art and I am a hobby as a creator. And uh, so you, you come to Dominic Comic Con every time or just uh, first time? I usually come as a guest, but this is my first time tabling as an artist. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, these are all uh, these are all your original uh, yeah. artwork, is it? Yeah. And what, what is it your what is your favorite type of artwork? I see a lot of Japanese influences on in these. Yeah, I take a lot of, I actually find uh, a lot of influence in J fashion and things that are just pretty looking. So if I like a character and they look cool, I'm just like I wanna draw them. So fantastic, fantastic. And uh, where can people find uh, your work after the, after the convention is over? Is there a website? Yeah, I have an Instagram and a Twitter at Expresso Art. And I also have a drag account at Expresso Martini. Back pocket comment. Yep. Uh, so this is Dublin Comic Con. So um, how have you been fighting it so far? Yes, it seems to be a good buzz. Obviously, it hasn't been it hasn't been on the last few years, but it's, it's good to sort of get back and, uh, into the swing of things, really. Yeah, just to see some familiar faces. Fantastic. Yeah, and uh, so, so the Vim initiative uh, yeah. and just all these are original uh, artworks and original original properties. Yep. Uh, so, um, where can people find us? Like normally, when so uh, comments. Find us on Facebook, Instagram. We also have an Etsy store as well. So, if you want to pick them up online. Um, so yeah, but the best thing to do is we have also some of them stocked in Finn Planet in Dublin as well. So get in touch with them. I'm sure they'll come in Belfast. And Belfast as well. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. And um, so, what is the general uh, content of your stories? Is it? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, we've, 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 uh, a wide range of different things. So we've got superhero genre. We've got cowboy demons. We've got sort of manga, Dragon Ball Z, Assassin's Creed. We've got pirates way down here. We've got sort of Pokemon. And then we've got a, like a post apocalyptic uh, drama yeah. there as well. So, fantastic. something for everybody, really. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah. Hey, my name is Jimmy, and uh, my business is uh, Breaking the Mold. We do 3D printed props, replicas, and dioramas, displays, custom designs. 
Fantastic, yeah. And you've got a good range of stuff here, uh, yeah. right from the Ninja Turtles all the way to Blade and everything. Yeah. Um, and is it mostly comic book stuff you do, or do you branch out? Um, for this, it's just comic book stuff for the the event that I'm doing here now. We're open and everything, open to uh, to everything, to be honest with you. So fantastic. And uh, where can people find the find the stuff if they want to? Um, you can go on to Etsy. Yeah. And is there any uh, is there any items you, you particularly like making or don't like making or? Um, particularly like making. I like making these guys because they're easy enough to do. Don't like making will be this guy because if the hammer nails in left, right, and center <laughs> into his head, so. It causes me more pain than him, so... <laughs> Uh, th this is my wife's business. This is uh, the little glass rat. Uh, she makes uh, a lot of stained glass and fused glass pieces. Uh, especially, we've got some different uh, nerdy ones here, some video game inspired ones like Link from the, the Legend of Zelda and, uh, and so on. But we also have some uh, some pieces for more inclusivity of, of everyone. So uh, we have some different fused pendants for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know a lot more than we have different fused pendants. I also have pieces like monstera leaves and things like that as well. <laughs> Fantastic! And uh, I know that it's quite a quite an involved discipline, uh, getting the glass, glass curls correctly and everything. So, uh, so how difficult would it be to do something like Link, for example? Oh, Link took a lot of time. He took about nine hours worth oh. of work is in him. Right. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's worth it in the end. It's very rewarding, I imagine. And yes, it's so much fun to do. I absolutely. Love it. Fantastic, yeah. And uh, if people, uh, people can't make it to the con, where can they find your stuff? Um, I sell on Etsy and I'm also on Instagram and Facebook at The Little, the little Glass Rat. Yeah, my name is Jason Brown and this is Put and Press Publications. Okay, and that's, uh, a, that's original publications, original artwork and everything? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's basically they're all ages Irish um, comic books. Fantastic, yeah. And uh, so, what, what, uh, so it's Irish content generally, but it's, uh, it's all uh, it's all Irish artists and everything, is it? Well, I'm the artist, and then I work with a myriad of writers on them. Um, and the whole idea is that we use Irish folklore as the actual kind of basis for the characters. Fantastic, yeah. Um, and then we, they're also kind of diverse, inclusive kind of characters as well. So. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. So you'd have things like uh, Finn McCool and the uh, Ulster Cycle and that sort of thing? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So they would be like the ancestors of the characters that we're working with. Do you know what I mean? So like, they obviously like, we use folklore's actual history for these characters. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, if people aren't at the con, and this, this will not be finished till after, where can people find your work? Or where, where can people find the, the book? Yeah, the, you can get them in uh, Forbidden Planet in Dublin, uh, How Just Figures in Dublin, and they're available in London, Amsterdam, New York, everywhere. But uh, there's also a website, buttonpresspublications.com. Uh, yeah, I'm Paul Carroll. I'm Gary Maloney. And uh, that over there is Gareth Luby. Uh, we're Liver Parade Comics. Fantastic. And is that uh, an in-house original comic book uh, company? Is that right? Yeah. We, uh, we've now 10 titles out after about just under four years. Um, Fantastic, yeah. We're currently crowdfunding our 11th title. Um, yeah, we just, we, we just love making comics. Um, we, we joined because it, it, individually it was more difficult to kind of build our own brand, so we figured, okay, let's make it collective. And then, you know, try, try to get more involved in the Irish comic community. Uh, I was going to mention there, there's also there quite a few uh, original artists uh, exhibiting here today. So, is there a building comic book uh, creators? Uh, yeah, we work with a lot of them. A lot right. of the people who are exhibiting here like have worked on the art books in various capacities. Uh, so, of the three of us, two of us are writers and one's an artist. And as a writer, it's a visual medium, you have to collaborate with people. And one of the good things about the Irish comic community is that it is very open to that and it's very friendly so that if you come into it, you meet people, whether it's at a pub or just at a con like this, and you're chatting maybe you form friendship bonds, and then you're like, oh, let's do a comic theatre. Yeah. I think while that can happen in other places, the level of sort of like interconnectedness and just openness between the creators isn't something you see in other comic scenes. And when we go to conventions in the UK and stuff, we're all, it's always come to the pot how close the Irish comic scene <laughs> is when compared to the yeah. various regional scenes in the UK. It's, it's more competitive, it's more uh, in it, other places, is it? It's, it's more cutthroat. It's like, okay. you have seen 
we, we're competitive in that. We all want to do well. Yeah. Uh, but we're not like, you know, we're not begrudging other people's successes here yeah. in Ireland. Whereas yeah. I get the feeling talking to some of our yeah. colleagues abroad, that's not always the case. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely much more of a sense of community here. Fantastic, Earth. fantastic. And then, and I, it's been a few years since Dublin Con's been on, so uh, I think you've missed it, or are you looking forward to oh. meeting everyone again? Or? I missed it so much. The last time I was here, I was here for Comic Con and World Con back to back. So I was in the convention center for almost two weeks straight, right, okay. and then not again for two and a half years. So it's been a really surreal experience, but it's, been, it's great to actually get back in here. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, where can people find uh, your work outside of the conference? Then, uh, so is there websites? And yeah, we have a website is limitbreakcomics.com. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Limit Break Comics. Limit Break Comics. Oh, Break Comics. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh. Starting our second and great big anthology down below, which is a mixture of Greek myth with crime noir stories. Uh, it's currently on Kickstarter at the moment. And we did one last year for Irish myth with fantasy and sci-fi stories, and that did really, really well. And so we're really hopeful for how this one goes. Fantastic, guys. Right, well, thanks. For So my name is Connor Carroll from Connor Carroll Art. Uh, I design wire trees and I print books and posters and stickers. Generally uh, like that. Fantastic. And uh, so you haven't been to Dublin Con in a couple of years. Have you been uh, exhibiting before? Or? This is my first time. Is I that? had a table two years ago that got pushed back. Oh no. So well, here we are now. Here we are now, yeah. Well, fantastic. Yeah. And um, I, see, I see a lot of the uh, D&D references and, and uh, just a, a lot of you know uh, pop culture references yep. and such. Uh, what is it you, you prefer building yourself? Like, what is it um, or you prefer making yourself? Uh, trees became my real big thing lately. I uh, started them right before the last conventions were meant to go ahead. Yeah. Now I just make these, they're my main thing. Fantastic. And uh, for people who can't get to the convention, how can they find your work? You can find me on social media. Yeah. I have channels all at Connor Carroll Art. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Um, I'm Becky and I own Me, Myself and Misha. Um, I'm based in Kildare and we started just at the kind of start of Covid um, because my job kind of went down the gutter as well. Okay, <laughs> long, so, long, long gutter still. <laughs> so you, you re re readjusted and, and uh, just started doing your own Yeah, job. I used to be in the beauty industry so this is a complete swap. <laughs> right, okay. Well, I, I, do actually love the, uh, I do actually love the way you've made these 3D. Um, Thank you. I just want to talk about just basically uh, the process of that then or how are yeah. you... So I get um, the dioramas I, I get manufactured in the um, in China and then I make the, the kind of inserts all in Kildare. Um I cut them all out and build them and make them. And I design them all based on the actual like parts of the game and stuff. So all of the games that I have I've played completely true to make sure that I've picked out, you know, like the most important scenes and stuff from the games to make sure that they're things that people have actually been interested in. But, I've always been a gamer, like Pokemon Yellow was one of my first games to ever play, so Pokemon that was Yellow, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> the first choice when I was making them. Fantastic, yeah, fantastic. And then, um, if people uh, can't get to the con or they'll see this afterwards, where can they find uh, more of these? Um, so I've got a website called meetmyselfamisha.com um, and everything is available on, on there. Alright, brilliant. And then I've got Facebook and Instagram. Well. Right. Thank you. Ray Roach, I'm part of Two Pulse Publishing. And uh, we do a range of comics for the whole family, for all tastes. Um, everything from Party Monkey to the American West and Vampire Horror. And it's a hobby and it's a great way of meeting people. And it's great being here today because it's been a long time since we had this opportunity to actually sell to the public and meet people at the table. I was going to say, so it's been a couple of years since Dublin Comic Con's been on. Uh, so, had you been going regular before? or? Um, yeah, we started in 2017 and uh, it was snowballing, it was getting bigger and bigger. And then COVID happened, lockdown. Yeah. And uh, we struggled online a bit for a while. But uh, nowadays, but today now, I have to say, it's been really good. You know, seeing um, the same faces again, seeing how they're getting on. Because it's a community after all. Like, you know? Yeah, I was going to, I've mentioned a, a couple of the other, uh, the button press there. There's a, there seems to be quite a vibrant uh, comic book uh, creating community in the country. Yeah. yeah, it surprises people when they find out how many people in Ireland are making comics. Not yeah. just for the indie market, but for Americans. There's a lot of big names that have, that have drawn oh, and written for the Hulk and Spider-Man and Sorry, Batman and everything. And uh, they've come back to Ireland now and have their own thing now, basically. And it's just, I just say, it's describing it. It's very vibrant. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, if people want to find yourself after the convention, where can they go? Or to the website? Or? We're at uh, twopostpublishing.org and you can read about all our comics and uh, we ship online. Uh, also, you get them in Dublin City Comics and Collectibles and The Big Bang at Dundrum. Okay. Yeah.
Fantastic. Alright, this book here focuses in on, uh, covers pretty much from the Ice Age up to today. And uh, Revolutionary Ireland focuses in on Easter Rising, War of Independence, Civil War. This is all based, uh, based on a series of YouTube videos which I do called Manny Mandel's History. And there's also a coloring book where you can spend hours uh, doing what I do, coloring in all the pictures that I draw. Uh, well, I am exhibiting loads of Manny Man merchandise, which, uh, so if for anybody who doesn't know, I have a YouTube series called Manny Man Does History where I, me and this little kind of animated large giant eyed character and um, explain history a lot of Irish history a lot of world history there's American history World War One World War two loads of revolutions and um, but yeah so uh, it's a lot of fun and here today I am exhibiting loads of books uh, we've got timeline uh, history timeline posters uh, we have Irish history coloring books we've got t-shirts we've got the wolf tones England's difficulty will be Ireland's opportunity <laughs> and uh, we also have loads of walking tour uh, walking tour of Dublin uh, of North Inner City Dublin uh, these are illustrated by myself written by local Dublin historians tons of detail tons of pictures tons of history and I have literally drawn every building between Dublin Port and Glasnevin. Kill me now. <laughs> Not actually though, it was a lot of fun. I really no, I, I, I did see it on the way in. You have uh, one of your things has been printed on the wall around the oh, north yeah, wall. Oh yeah, but uh, several places. Yes, oh, yeah. true, yeah, yeah, yes. the corner, yeah, yeah. Um, and so your, your YouTube has been very successful. You're getting, uh, what, what numbers are you hitting now? I uh, am on, I'm closing in on a quarter of a million subscribers. Fantastic. 243,000 subscribers now. And the channel's had about 35 million views. Fantastic. So yeah. it's been doing well. But if you haven't checked it out, be sure to check it. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit the bell icon for you know you know, you know <laughs> the stuff. Indeed, yeah, indeed. If you do want to support me, you can get so uh, patreon.com forward slash John D. Ruddy. Plug, plug, plug. And uh, <laughs> where, where can people buy the items then? Uh, JohnDRuddy.com or if you're about Dublin this weekend, come and meet me in person. Uh, and we're here at Dublin Comic Con. <laughs> I'm Paul Bolger, how are you? Uh, I've He's just gone. done this graphic novel based on Cool Color and uh, it's just come out in Dark Horse Comics and Worldwide. Fantastic, yeah. So, uh, Dark Horse, one of the, one Dark, of the major publishers, yeah, Worldwide. Major, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so it's a, it's they've a, just done a collected edition. We did originally a Kickstarter yeah. trilogy yeah. and uh, limited edition, but they've just done this massive new book. Yeah, uh, I was going to say it's a, it's a huge, it's a huge like, page count at least, you know. So it was a lot of work then, was it? Over yeah, many yeah, years, was it? It took a long time. <laughs> it's 500 pages, so. And, uh, is it, and, and uh, are you drawing from a lot of them, the Irish, uh, Irish pre Christian tradition, are you, when you're, when you're getting. Well, but, but something like this is rooted in that. I mean, it's based in the Ulster tradition, so it's the Ulster cycle. So basically, it's the, it's the full story of Cook Holland compared to this. Fantastic. And, and uh, it, it's set in the 2000 years ago in Celtic times. And it, it deals with uh, all the mythology where he goes to Scotland, trains and fights his best friend and all that stuff. Fantastic. So it's a full story. I, I see a lot of uh, a lot of exhibitors here. There's a lot of uh, well, there's a big industry of, of comic creators. I didn't realize. Uh, they also seem to be uh, inspired by the the Ulster cycle, etc. Yeah, it seems to be a rich vein that people are tapping into now. It is, well, and a long way to continue. I, I think we need more of it. You know. Yeah, fantastic. And if people want, uh, people will not see this until after the convention's over. So where can they find your work? And uh, this in any comic shop. And you can and find Hound anywhere. And you can go to paul pauljbolger.com. You know the desert that we shoot at? You guys think it's Mexico? It's across the, like the studios right Across here, the studios. and the desert is to that wall. We just cross the street and it's a desert. We're in Mexico. And, but it's really nice desert because the pavement is right there and the studios are there. But that way it looks like desert, but it's not. <laughs> but the thing is, so we go to the desert. The first day, we go deeper into the, it was like a 10 minute drive from the studio. And so we're driving in a van, him and I, and then we drive, we get out of the car, and Brian, oh, Brian is directing, Heisenberg, Brian Cranster is directing the first episode. And so we get out of the car, and Brian is like maybe like 20 feet away, right? And we're walking, and this guy, whoo, this guy, we're walking, and he's like, and he goes like this. Hey, that's the guy from Malcolm in the Middle. That's what he asked me. He said, is that the guy, is that the guy from Malcolm in the Middle? And I was like, shut up. Be serious, goddammit! And show has found so many things. For one, no, Breaking Bad, we were very small. It 
you think of the Breaking Bad world, our characters, in the, the, the time we spent on the show was small, but we are thankful that it was memorable. You know, and another thing that we always think is this, aside from being memorable, when we see people, I'm pretty sure you guys all know that we, we talk, we're, we're I, I think I'm an okay guy, I'm kind of nice to everybody, you know? So when I meet people, you guys took time from your day to come see me. Yes. I gotta give you some love for that, you know what I'm saying? So you give that back and you get it back for the people. So as I don't be memorable on the show, we try to thank you guys because we know that we were not the main characters of the show, but you guys still show us love. So I gotta give you love back. You know, so that feeling, bro, it's, it's a beautiful, and I never had, imagine me grow, hey, you know, when we grew up, when I grew up, man, I think I used to drive to, where I grew up, and I probably got pulled over every other day. The cops, and I haven't done anything, but I look like this, and then I think about myself, like, I would have probably put myself over if I was a cop, because I look like shit, I look like a freaking criminal, you know, so all that happened to me, and I'm like, now that we're here, imagine the feeling that you guys, and, and the way you guys treat us, is, Man, that's a beautiful thing. You know, I met some cool people that is now married. You know, I don't know how you guys are. You just probably be killers and try to kill me. But the people that I have met and talked downstairs is freaking cool, man. All the love that we get, bro, it's, it's crazy. And the coolest thing is that we come back on better call Saul. Isn't that cool? And we don't mind. Hey. Yeah, we're with the Wii Gamers. We're uh, running some games, dabbling uh, games where people play. These are tabletop, um, board games, card games. And uh, we're just having a nice day out. Um, we're all about getting people to play. Family should be playing board games. That's the sort of stuff we want. Yeah, and what what is it about uh, about tabletop gaming and board gaming that uh, that's encouraging or good for children or, or that's family friendly? Or it's uh, social interaction is quite a big part. It's quite good to get people working together as families. Also, uh, it's nice to have families together. We've noticed that since lockdown, a lot of people together in their houses have got more into it. So this is actually very good. I think it's uh, a lot of good social. Stuff skills and role playing and other things as well. Fantastic, yeah. And uh, what, what type of games do you prefer yourself? Is it more like the, the, the D20 games or uh, the card games? Or? I kind of like everything. Uh, I suppose probably board games when it comes down to it are usually my favourite, but I love RPGs, I love war games, I love card games and all. But yeah, probably um, board games are my first love. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah. And uh, so, so it's a, are you part of this club as well, the Wii Gamers? I am, yes. Yeah. And uh, so if people want to get involved with Wii Gamers, how would they, how would they get involved with them? Uh, well, we're on Facebook and uh, we also have a place in Whitehead in, uh, up in the north of Ireland. So we have that with the local club. But yeah, we're on Facebook and I think there's a Wii site as well. My name's Amanda and we're with the Eye of Harmony cosplay group and we are a group of Doctor Who cosplayers. Doctor Who cosplayers, because yes. I was going to suggest that uh, it all looks very theatrical here compared to the other stuff, <laughs> it's a bit more scientific. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what is it about Doctor Who that, that uh, appeals to you? Um, well I think we all have our different reasons for loving Doctor Who. Um, I've watched Doctor Who since I was a very small child in the series, the classic series with Tom Baker. Um, and I've always watched Doctor Who ever since then. And uh, But we have also younger members who come into Doctor Who with Yu Yu and David Tennant and people like that. And Jodie Whittaker of course at the minute is the 13th Doctor. Fantastic. Um, but this really today was our display because we have built the Doctor's wardrobe. Um, so it was the, the idea was to showcase some of the costumes that our members have and also some of the things that we've collected over time and the things that we love about Doctor Who and props that we like to have. So it was really just to share our love of Doctor Who with everyone here at Dublin Comic Con. Fantastic. And uh, do you have other uh, other themes as well then? Or, uh, uh, well, th this is primarily the Doctor Who group, um, but we would do... Um, we do charity events, so uh, we do appearances with other clubs such as the Emerald Garrison, the Star Wars and Heroes and Legends. So it's really just we work with a lot of different groups, just as I say, to share the love of all things Doctor Who. Fantastic. And if people want to get in touch with you after the, uh, after the event, is there any way they can... Like, maybe yeah, Facebook well, we have a page on Facebook, so you'll find us on Facebook as the Eye of Harmony. And we also have an Instagram, which is also at Eye of Harmony.
My name is John Mitchell, I'm with Irish Guiders for the Blind and we're, we're here uh, promoting the organisation and doing a little bit of fundraising uh, while we're here. Fantastic, and uh, so uh, do you cover a lot of these kind of events? Uh, well, to try and get we've been doing Comic Con now for a good number of years and we would do like the Dublin Horse Show and Bloom in the Park and, and stuff like that and then local supermarket and shopping centre events on, on a regular basis. Fantastic, and is there, is there a specific connection to the Comic Con that you have that, uh, or is it uh, do you find there's a lot of people who come here would need uh, assistance dogs or anything? This is the first time I've done the Comic Con, but umpteen people have come up to me today to say, we always come to your stand, we always expect to see you at, at, uh, at Comic Con, and they like to see the dogs, so and, they, uh, and say hello to the dogs, and all that sort of stuff. Fantastic, and, um, and if people want to uh, help support you, where would, they, where would they go, what would be the best way to, to get support you? Well, if they want to volunteer and stuff like that, they'll find us on, on the web website, irishguidedogs.ie. Uh, and we are lots of all our branches now would have social media stuff on a regular basis and we'll be doing our main fundraiser uh, the last Friday in May which is uh, Guide Dog Day. Hi guys, I'm Captain Elaine Wheeler with the USS Cucullin. We're here at Comic Con today and you can see we have the Starfleet Bridge with us. We're the USS Cucullin, we're the largest Star Trek fan club in Ireland. We're part of SFI International and we're actually the largest ship in the world. So Little Old Ireland is the biggest fan club in the whole world, uh, which is the USS Cucullin. Fantastic. Come along and say hi. Fantastic, and uh, so it's, it's a fan club for Star Trek fan specifically? Club for Star Trek, yeah, we do movie nights, we do video games, we do get togethers where everybody just comes and we do con dancing, we have parties four times a year. Um, uh, then we do uh, culture days where we might do a museum somewhere in the country and 
just different whatever the club wants. And We're more of a social club, so we do kind of everything. Bowling nights, movie nights, airsoft. We have a Marine Corps that does the airsoft as well. So they do a military set, uh, attacks. So pretty much anything. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. And uh, as Star Trek fans, you must have been very proud of Colomini when you saw him for the first time. Oh, oh yes, yeah. yes, yeah, very much so, yes. And uh, and if people want to get in touch and you want to get involved with the group? The, uh, we have a Facebook page called the USS Cucullin. So you can join us on the page there. You can add to be a member. Uh, you can be just a member on the page, or then you can join Starfleet International, which is SFI, which is the worldwide fan club if you wanted to.